nice and lovely welcome back to the kitchen again with chef ricotta cooking show it's amazing guys anyway i just want to make you a nice lovely simple potato soup all right and i'm gonna show you how you can do that at home all right so first thing what we want to do is remove the skin from the potato you can either use a knife or your peeler but i'm just gonna be using my knife and remove the skin from the potato all right so i have roughly three potato and then also medium sized potato as i say you can use a peeler or your knife some people might ask a chef ricotta why are you using a knife why don't you use a peeler um, but i'm a chef and remember this is where you have to start from it's from a knife to peel potato and peel certain things at home so once you do this with your potato i'm gonna show you you can use make a nice creamy really creamy creamy potato soup all right guys at home i'm not gonna make a lot just gonna make a little bit all right so three potato simple i'm gonna cut them up very finely like this Size spot on the stove with some heat. All right, that's the first thing we want to do. So what we're going to do now is get a medium-sized white onion. So remove the dry bits of the onion. All right. Um, we got garlic which is a must oh, so we got some spring onion all of these ingredients we're going to be using in the front pan so if I get my camera over here that's the guys can see I'm just gonna make a simple little soup today creamy soup I know you guys will love it nice and lovely so what we're going to do put a large tablespoon of butter in the front pan like this and then we have two cups of garlic which i showed you earlier i'm gonna put in the garlic all right some spring onion And then we're gonna put in one large white onion. Nice one. So we're going to give it a stir. So we're gonna cook off the onion, the garlic, and also the spring onion, both three of them, for a nice good 10 minutes, all right? Nice one. So guys, remember, I'm going to be using some of the Jamaican Valley, Valley veg season inside of it, all right? So 
So what we're going to do now is put in the potato. All right. So we're gonna just salt take off the potato with everything for one nice good 10 minutes. In that 10 minutes, what you can do is to boil a kettle in that 10 minutes and use some straight hot water. Got it, but hot water is more easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna be leaving that to boil to cook for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to boil my kettle now. Looking good. But we have some more ingredients which we need to put to it. Nice one. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add some season to it. Jamaican Valley season. Little bit of herbs, dry basil. All purpose season. Give it a stir. It's looking good. Also, we're gonna put some fresh thyme. That's some fresh thyme. We're gonna blend up the fresh thyme in it and bring in a lovely flavor. Jamaican scotch but it's probably gonna use in it. It's looking good. gonna add some boiling water to it man this smell lovely and nice so what we're going to do now is add the boiling water from the kettle all right we're not gonna add too much water all right guys so basically there's a little bit of water over the potato inside of the pot okay just gonna put it to the cook and then we're going to blend it all right as you can see, it's looking good already and lovely and nice. So what we're going to do now is cover it. Allow it to cook for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, guys, so enjoy it. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, as you can see, it's boiling up, looking good. So what we want to do, we want to see, oh, whoa, put it already. So what we're going to do now, we're going to blend it, blend it up, Chef Ricardo, blend it up. All right, so I'm gonna get my blender now. I'm just gonna show my fans. Um, this is another way how you can make soup at home. You know, you know, sometimes you wanna change and get something totally different. So what we're going to do now is we're gonna blend the soup like this. Make sure I'm blend. Yeah, my voice is working. So in the meantime, I'm blending it. I'm going to be pouring some coconut milk in it like this. Well, on the first, guys, before I even go any further with the coconut milk, I may have to cut it a little bit more. 
all right just to fry the coconut come on a little bit better all right you can use cream or coconut milk so i'm using the coconut milk say anything more because if I should say anything more honestly it's gonna be this is amazing look at that soup that's the only thing with the blender the blender definitely give it a lovely creamy look and that's what I was looking for see and it blend it out really fine and nice and we use a coconut milk in it so that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor and a natural flavor Mm. that's beautiful and nice guys honestly you know what let's put the jamaican scotch bonnet pepper in it like that the jamaican scotch bonnet pepper bring in a lovely flavor a nice taste turn it on a little bit low so what we're going to do we're going to allow that to cook for about 10 minutes after 10 minutes we're going to share it out all right guys lovely and nice creamy potato soup coconut milk wicked recipe from chef ricardo today nice and lovely guys so basically this is it right here all right this is a soup creamy potato soup with coconut milk all right so what we're going to do share it out and make you see how you look on the plate enjoy the recipe and please subscribe my youtube channel we've got a lot more recipes a lot more ideas will be coming. This is from Chef Ricard and the team, and I will see you again. So stay tuned. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, as I can see it right there, that's the creamy potato soup with coconut milk. All right. The butter which I use is an unsalted butter. You know what I mean? So vegan can't have this one. Vegan cannot have this kind of soup if you're gonna use butter. Once I remove the butter and use some coconut oil or vegetable oil, vegan can have it. Um, every other else thing is fine except the butter because the butter have milk. Um, vegetarian can have the soup because some vegetarian do have milk, some doesn't have. It's a very nice soup, you know what I mean, for the cold weather. And also, it's good to have something like this in the evening with some crusty bread. So guys, if you do like it, please leave your comments below. And thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. We've got a lot more recipes will be coming and a lot more ideas. This is from Chef Ricardo and the team. Don't go anywhere. Steer right here. And I will see you again with the next lovely soup. See you next time. Bye-bye.